There's another major type of covalent compound. Those are called hydrocarbons. Um, they're covalent compounds, but they have their own set of naming hydrocarbons. Um, they're also called organic compounds because a hydrocarbon is a compound that's made of hydrogen and carbon and other stuff. Um, but there's a basic naming structure that depends on the number of carbon atoms in what we call the carbon chain of the hydrocarbon. The type of chain that you have, is it a straight chain or a branch chain or a cyclic chain? Um, the type of bond between the carbon atoms, they're always covalent bonds, but is it a single, double, or triple? And is there a functional group present? Now all these details, I'm just pointing them out to you right now. We're not going to talk about all the details of naming hydrocarbons until next semester. Um, for now, the only thing you need to know about, um, let me see, where did my, I rushed so much I lost my oh, notes. Um, oh, here we go. The only thing you need to know about naming these hydrocarbons, actually, is the very basic naming structure of what we call saturated hydrocarbons. Um, and that is um, one carbon in a saturated hydrocarbon is called methane. The formula there is CH4, methane. Okay, methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, and octane. The difference between all of these is just the number of carbons. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octane, eight. The other thing that's important for you to recognize is that every carbon is saturated. And when we say saturated, we mean that it has four bonds. One, two, three, four single bonds. Saturated. And we say that these hydrocarbons are saturated with hydrogens. Okay? So each carbon contains the maximum amount of hydrogens it can because it can have up to four bonds other than the carbon-carbon bond that's in the chain. And you see the chain gets longer. So these will all be considered straight chain. And in the next um, semester, actually, we'll get more and more into some different types of organic compounds. But really, for this chapter, you need to be familiar with these names and the formulas that go with these particular names. All right. Um, for example, there's a practice from your textbook um, and it says, what does each name indicate about the number of carbon atoms? This particular a compound, ethanol, all right? The eth in ethanol is telling me how many carbons. The ol is telling me, by the way, that it's a hydroxyl group or an alcohol, but all they're asking you is how many carbons. Eth indicates that there's two carbons from what you just memorized. Um, methylene chloride, meth, that's from methane. That means that there's one. And methylene chloride is actually the common name for the compound dichloro, dichloro methane. And based on that name, I bet you could even um, draw the, the structure for this compound. Dichloro methane is just the methane group with two hydrogens and two chlorines. But we'll get to that later. Um, propane, how many carbons in propane? There are three. All right. Okay, so that's enough of that. There's one more example here. This is the last example for this particular lecture. This is really what I want you to be able to do. Um, you need to be able to name hydrocarbons. Oh, whoops, this is the wrong. Whoops, 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 whoops. You need to be able to name these hydrocarbons, um, these particular hydrocarbons. All right, given the name, give me the formula. Given the formula, give me the name. These are the basic alkanes. You can name it. You can see there's seven carbons in this particular hydrocarbon. Based on the fact that there's seven, you've memorized that that name is heptane. There's one carbon. It's saturated with hydrogens. You've memorized that's methane. And then looking at this one, pent means five. That's telling you there's five carbons. So the formula there is C5H10. How do you know how many, excuse me, C5H12? How do you know how many hydrogens there are? You can draw it out and see how many hydrogens you have to put on the chain. One, two, three, whoops. To get to put on the chain, there's five. To get it to be saturated with hydrogens, just count them up. Put a hydrogen in each bond, and you'll come up with 12. Okay? If you don't want to write it all out, you can remember that it's always CNH. 2n plus 2. Talk with your friends and see how you can see this model 
fits this formula and all the other formulas. Okay, this was a very fast run through um, covalent compounds.